I'm back in Espresent Portugal, as you might have noticed from the cover on the last video, about fixing the kite lines. I've been in Cape Verde for the past few weeks teaching an assistant and instructor course. During it, I took the opportunity to film a couple of topics I want to cover in the next videos. So in this video, I'll show you how to safely pass the kite between two persons, as this is very common while teaching, but also after between friends. In the upcoming weeks, I'll have time to edit some of the things I filmed. I'll show you a safer way to teach on land, how to pack the kite without sand, a more detailed video on how to put the board on your feet without using the handle, shot in the ocean. You can check the previous one on the link in the top corner. I also plan to make a more detailed video about the best water start technique procedure. I explained it in the previous video that you can also check on the link on the top corner. If you like these videos, please support me by liking and subscribing to the channel. You can also activate the notifications to know when the next video is launched. It would also be awesome to get some feedback from the videos. It's super important to me. I'm also planning a trip to Cape Verde, where I used to have a school. I'll show you soon what we have prepared just for you. So let me show you how to safely pass the kite from one person to the other in the ground, air or water. Passing a kite to a friend or student is a situation that can lead to accident if not done correctly, as the kite is flying and without the same control as when you are connected. I see a lot of people doing this movement with a stressful behavior that in stronger winds can lead to problems and accidents. You also might need to do the passage in water or on land, so I'll cover the two places as the technique is the same. So on land, if you have enough space, no obstacle, you can simply put the kite at parking position 3 or 9 and leave the bar alone. The kite will be on standby, allowing you to do the swap easily. Then just connect the other person's leash and after remove yours. Grab the center line and you can pass the loop easily to the other person. But what about the situation that I can't put the kite on the ground and I want to pass the kite flying? In this case, you should put the kite at 10.30 or 1.30 to make the passage. Instruct the other person to put his leash and remove yours. Then grab above the bar on the trim strap with one hand, controlling the power with it, and with the other hand, control the bar. This leaves the chicken loop without any power, allowing for the other person to remove it from your harness and place it on hers without any problem. After it was connected, give them the bar control and put your free hand behind the other person on the harness. After release the trim strap, allowing them to get the kite's power control. Some people grab below the bar and either control the bar or let go of the bar. The problem is that if you need to pilot, you will have much more power and harder control than if you hold above the bar, where you can cut all the power just by pulling the front lines. It is a much calmer exchange than if you grab below the bar. Below the bar, the exchange needs to be faster and more stressful. You have lower steering capability, less deep power, and you pass the kite at the top of the wind window. If you do it above the bar, you can make the exchange relaxed and slower. You have full steering control. You can have more deep power and you change the kite at 45 degrees in the wind window. On the water, the process is the same, but this technique gets even more evident. If you're body dragging with a student and you need to give him the kite, the best solution is to put the kite at 3 or 9 position and change the leash, making sure that it is always connected to one of the persons and hold on to the center line while the other person connects to the kite to their harness. If there's strong wind making it easy relaunch, this is the best method. But what happens if there's not a lot of wind and you need to make the switch or there are waves? and you need to make it in the air. Then it's even more important that you grab above the bar on the trim strap so that the other part is free for the other person to grab. This way, both are pulled by the kite and can maintain the same relative position to the kite. If you grab below the bar and want to connect to the other person, it's harder as you will be pulled by the kite, but the person won't. It is common for the instructors to pass the kite to the student and a lot of times it is done in a fast and stressful way. As an instructor, you should be capable of controlling the kite with a hand above the bar in the trim strap and another in the bar. When changing in the water, it's the only way to do it in a body drag scenario. 
I hope this helps to make your lesson more stress-free and more comfortable for the student. Often, these fast movements are not perceived correctly by the student and he will try to copy them later, causing problems or accidents. The best way is still on 3 or 9, but if needed to change at 10.30 or 1.30, use this method to make the switch calm and relaxed. If you haven't subscribed to the videos, click here to subscribe. And if you want to check more videos, just click right here. See you on the next videos.